today I'm going to tell you a secret and I want you to share it with your whole family. So get your family together because everybody should know the secrets from God. And welcome to the Busy Bees for Jesus. I'm glad we can be together even though we can't be together. <laughs> Let's start with prayer. Remember, we fold our hands, we close our eyes, and we bow our heads in reverence to the Lord. Our most precious Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can spend this time together. Apply what you have for us to our hearts and our minds and our souls so that we may live closer to you, Lord. Please, Lord, hold up our goings in thy path that our footsteps slip not, please, Lord. And be with each one of us as we go through these times and keep us strong and comforted and helping one another in a way that is pleasing unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. We love you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Okay, guys. Oh, I lost my page. We're going to start a new memory verse, and I know new memory verses are games. However, I can't do the game without you calling out the numbers. So, we're just going to have to start the new one, and we'll have to have a special game day when you, we all get back. <laughs> but, when you come to church on Sunday and do the drive-in, ask your mommy and daddy to drive you next to my truck, Tell me your memory verse and I can give you your prize if you memorized it, okay? All right, so let's go on to the books of the Bible. Ooh, it helps if I turn the page, huh? All right, Old Testament. I expect you to say them with me. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations. Oh, sorry. Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. All right, let's go to the New Testament. All right, New Testament. Matthew, Mark. Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd, 3rd John, Jude, Revelations. Okay. Now we're going to do our pledge. I should have kept the book upside down, huh? All right. I will love the Lord with all my heart and all my soul and all my might. And our theme song, Psalms 1914. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Oops, sorry. My strength and my redeemer, Psalms 1914. All right, this is why we would do our memory verses. Psalms 119.11 Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Psalms 119.11 Remember, God's words in our heart. 
our new memory verse. I've got a big poster for this because we're going to talk about this whole thing. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Philippians 4.4. 4. But this whole study we're going to do on it for until our next new memory verse is verses 4 through 7. And it's about the secret of the peace of God. Okay, so let's see if I can set this up here so it can mean why we talk. Okay, the secret I am going to tell you about is about the peace, the secret of the peace of God. Finding God's peace is like learning about each leaf in the vine. Going on their vine. The leaves are all connected by the vine. And each leaf is a different lesson we need to learn. Our first lesson in our vine is a study. Yeah, is a study, vine study, is about our memory verse, rejoicing in the Lord. Okay? When we rejoice, we have gladness. Who doesn't want gladness? I mean, really. When we are glad, it shows we smile. Jesus shines through. Our heart is happy, not weighed down, and oh my, yours. Because we followed God's word, like we talked about in the last lesson. We cast those burdens on the Lord. 1 Peter 5, 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. I hope you all made your uh, God's pocket to put your cares in. And, cast the, and we cast those cares onto God and not pick them up. Remember, when you pick them up, that's a no-no. Leave them in God's hand. And we walk away singing praises to the Lord. We can sing them in our heart or we can sing them out loud, but rejoicing in the Lord. We wear a smile, a smile is contagious. When we greet others with a smile, it says, I'm glad to see you. And that person will feel glad too because they think, oh, they wanted to see me. They were glad to see me. And then they feel happy inside and that spreads a smile on their face. And it keeps on going, just like our leaves. It's an online chain. Everybody, if you smile, then they smile. It's a contagious thing. Also practice saying positive things. Dwelling and talking about negative things brings us down and causes others around us to feel down too. And then sooner or later, everybody's grumpy. We don't want grumpy. So if something or someone is making you feel down, you better put it in God's pocket and leave it there. And remember how God says for us to handle things. And we're going to do a refresher on this and go to Romans. And we're going to Romans chapter 12. I had it marked here. And we're going to start in verses 14 and 15. And it says, Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Bless and curse not. When somebody does something that's hurtful, it does hurt. But God doesn't want us to do hurtful things. It goes on to say, rejoice with them that are rejoicing and feel happy for them. 
not jealous, and that's hard sometimes, but we can't be jealous. We got to remember, God blesses us too. Rejoice with them, congratulate them, help them to feel how you would want to feel if it was you getting the special moment. If you're told sad news from them, comfort them. Help them to feel how you would want to feel. Now I'm going to read verses 17 through 21. All right. Recompense, that means don't give back, to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, Give them drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. But, oh, sorry, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. If someone is being mean, you don't sin too and be mean back. That makes you just as bad. You need to restrain from this sin and think, oh, I don't want to be like that, so I shouldn't repay that. Don't lie. Be honest and tell the truth. Sometimes that's hard, I know, but it pays off. Answer back with, I'm sorry you feel that way. However, I don't feel the same way. We need to strive to live peaceably. I know some people will try to take advantage of your kindness and think that your being kind to them means it's okay to treat you the same way. But remember, 1 Peter 5, woo, 5, 7, and cast that burden of what they're doing or saying to you to God. Put it in his pocket. Pass that burden and then stand up for what is right. However, not in a mean way or holier than thou way, but with kindness. Say things like, I understand what you're saying, but I don't agree. This is my point of view and I understand if you don't agree. I respect you, please respect me and my opinion. And I'm glad you respect my right to the, my way of thinking. And if you have cast that burden on the Lord, like we talked about last time, God will take care of it, just like he said in our verses. So no matter what God says, we should not do evil. Oh, wait, no matter what, do not do evil. <laughs> I said that wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do not do evil. Allow God to handle the situation. Do show Jesus, and sometimes you're the only Jesus they see. Do things in kindness to everyone, even those who are not kind. It's not easy, but Again, worth it. This will show others Jesus and not the world. You remember, we've talked about this. You may be the only Jesus they ever see. So if you're, if you're saying to them ugly things, you're not casting it into God's pocket and you're trying to take care of it yourself. So cast the things in his pocket and think, how can I show Jesus to this person? Because they may not get Jesus at home. They may not get Jesus anywhere. You may be your, the only Jesus. So 
I think it's time that we finish with a song again. Remember, you guys sing with me because I'm not the singer here. All right, ready? Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. This is from our memory verse, whoop, upside down. And God thinks it's important. That's why he put it in his word. We're supposed to rejoice. And if we're casting the things that upset us into God's pocket and leaving it there for him to handle, and then think about this song and sing it in your heart, okay? Now, that's all that I have. I just wanted you to remember to spread rejoicing, kindness, and love. And remember, smile. All right? The world will be a happier place, a more peaceful place, and you'll be showing Jesus to someone, maybe somebody that would never know any other way. I love you guys, and I miss you, and I can't wait to hug you up again. Bye-bye.